Alright, for over a week, the Crystal Super has been with reviewers and the first users, so let's cover some frequently asked questions from hardware, software, shipping and other things. First, software. When's the white FOV mode coming and how does it work? We're currently testing this internally and it's working. The way this works is it slightly moves the lenses further apart and then adjusts the rendering profile accordingly. The rendered FOV is much higher. The sweet spot on these lenses is big enough, but it does come at the cost of some stereo overlap. Another question. Considering how tremendously large the FOV is, would Pimax consider putting a lower FOV mode like the 8KX had to save on some performance for those who want it? So we didn't change the phrasing in the question here, but yeah, the FOV on this headset is pretty stellar. But to answer the question, yes, this feature is coming for all Crystal headsets, the OG, Lite and Super. And we want the software to provide these options for users. The estimated time for release is in May. Does DFR work on AMD TPUs? No, the Super does work with AMD TPUs as one of the few VR headsets out there. Eye tracking works, but foveated rendering right now does not work on AMD TPUs. Will the microphone be improved? And yeah, we put this part into software because the hardware is good. We will work on the EQ part to improve the sound of this. Hang on. Is smart smoothing going to be fixed? So in some situations, smart smoothing isn't as smooth as the name would suggest. We're currently beta testing this fix. One bigger question, what can we expect on the software side in the future for the Crystal Super? And what is currently being worked on? So what we can share, and this also answers other questions, custom buttons on the headset, like you can remove the volume up and down features and set your own, such as IPD or in-game short keys like recenter or I don't know, the pit limiter in iRacing. We're improving the upscaling mode to have a better visual effect. And we're adding more features to customize quad views in Pimax Play, like the focus area and aggressiveness. And the room scale setup, we have already improved in Pimax Play 1.39.1, which came out a few days ago, that also released the custom RGB lights for the front cover. So hardware, what's the minimum GPU for decent performance, in particular with sim racing? This really depends on what you think is decent, but I personally think with default settings and no mods in Asada Corsa, with an RTX 3080, you can get great results beyond decent. Like you cannot max out all the details, but with a render resolution of like 4,600 by 4,600 per eye, you can get great visuals and maxing out the FPS to 90 stable. Pimax Play has so many features that you can really get the most out of any system, including things like dynamic foveated rendering, which in this case boosts the FPS from 70 to 90. And with this high resolution, you can also lower down anti-aliasing, getting huge FPS boosts. Cable questions. How long is the display port cable that comes with the Super? And is it the same as with the Crystal Light? And do you guys have any plans for the fiber optic cable for the Super? So it's five meters long. So here's a very useful picture. And yes, it's the same cable as the Light. And at the moment, we have no plans for a fiber optic cable. What are the USB ports rated for and how much power can we pull from the ports? So the bottom one is USB 3.0. 5 TB per second and 5 volts, 900 milliampere. And this is for like accessories like the hand tracking module. The one on the top right is USB 2.0, which is 480 MB per second, 5 volts and 500 milliampere. Is the front faceplate removable? When is the Lighthouse faceplate cover coming? Yes, it is removable, but unlike the Crystal Light, you first need to undo the optical engine and then loosen two screws. The Lighthouse faceplate cover is going to fit here. We expect it to be ready this summer. Any chance you can integrate something like point control in the faceplate. Right now we're not planning this, but we'll share the 3D files of the front cover so that you can 3D print accessories for things as point control. Many people in the point control community have already done so with previous Pimax headsets. When is the 50 PPD QLED shipping and the micro OLED and which panels does it use? We'll do a big update about the 57 PPD in the micro OLED optical engine later this month. Estimated arrival time is still Q2. Any word on when the MR faceplate cover will come? Will it come for the OG Crystal and the Light first and then the Super or all at the same time? It will probably be released for the OG Crystal first as our internal prototype works in the standalone mode. There are some questions about quality control as well. We have really improved on this, but it's hard to go into full detail. We have better camera equipment to test the quality of the lenses, both the shape and the glass material. We're testing each part of the headset in the factory and then another time at our headquarters to make sure no headset ships out with defects. I'm pretty confident of that as well. Purchase and shipping, tariff situation. The situation is changing now and then, but our update on April 10th is still accurate. Link in the description. I ordered on X, when is it shipping? So the vast majority of pre-orders will ship at the end of April and May. 
That said, orders to the US are slightly delayed because of the situation with the tariffs. We take on the additional cost of these because we feel it's not the responsibility of our users. But still, these shipments may arrive slightly later. One thing we do want to highlight is that we absolutely adhere to when the order was made. So it's absolutely fair to all users. If I order now, when does it ship? Orders made right now are expected to ship in June. Other topics. Any 60T Airlink update. We thought we'd be ready to ship these magical pieces of hardware earlier, but then still discovered some incompatibility issues during the closed beta test. This is already fixed and currently in beta testing, and then hopefully we're moving to mass production and shipping this summer. Any plans to release that Pimax cushion we saw on Pimax Day? No, but we'll give one away to the comments in the video here. That's it for now. We hope this clears up many things. Thank you.